felt so much shame for not being strong. And so I just didn't talk about it, especially in, you know, I come from generations of uh, pastors and my husband's in Christian music. And so where do you have this conversation about anxiety and anxiety attacks and feeling overwhelmed by this doom and fear? I was 18 and diagnosed with a rare disease called Lemire syndrome. Lemire syndrome is really rare. They say one in a million. It's an infection that starts in your artery and shoots off to all of your organs and starts killing them. And when you're uh, in ICU and people are operating on you and it's a life or death situation, I started having post-traumatic stress. And during that time, I shoved it down. I didn't want to talk about how I was having nightmares and how I was having panic attacks. I had horrible morning sickness, and so they gave me a prescription for it. And this prescription was interesting because when I took it, I calmed down. So I would just keep taking it, high doses. My midwife was kind of questioning why I was still on it. In that time, I didn't even share this addiction with Luke, with anyone. Sometimes this prescription can mess with your serotonin levels. So I would take it and I would feel better. So I kept taking it. There was this day that Luke was at a show in Texas and I was at home and I had tried to get off of this pill and I couldn't. I started shaking and shivering and having suicidal thoughts and um, my heart was racing and I just knew I couldn't do it alone. And he didn't know this was going on. I was hiding this from everyone. And I called him and I said, you need to come home. It was actually a fairly frantic phone call. And up until that point, I had never received that phone call before. And I said, well, you know, well, what's going on? I can't get off of this pill. Like, I'm not OK. I had just shoved it down, shoved it down, just pain, trauma, anxiety, fear, all of it just came out that day. So I got on the next plane, went home. And I come in the back door and I see Courtney. And I say, hey, honey, you know, you, you OK? And she says, well. You know, I'm okay right now, but as the, the night progressed, I could see her hands begin to tremble, and I could see uh, she actually started saying things like, hey, I know the doctors have told me that uh, I shouldn't take any more of this medicine, but what if I just take one more pill to get me through the night? And I think it was at that point that I really realized, you know, we had a problem. And so the next uh, day, we went, to, uh, we went to a mental health facility. Checked into this outpatient facility for weeks, and, and I was detoxing at the time, so I was shivering and grouchy and you know, I was seven months pregnant. When I walked in, I felt all the shame. I felt like, Courtney, how did you get this far? Like, why can't you just get in line? Why can't you just get your stuff together? I remember walking in and just silently praying like, Lord, you have to use this. Like, you have to show up because I'm not okay. And it's in this, this place of vulnerability that he undid my shame. My shame started unraveling, and, and I received grace in a whole new way. I really started digging into the Word of God. I thought that I could, I could add to the cross or I could detract from the cross. It's like instead I just understood in a whole new way that um, I, I can't add to what Jesus has done for me, and I can't take it away by anything bad that I could do. I just received this grace. And she'd shown such remarkable improvement. They said, hey, you're, you're, you're discharged, you're free to go, you're on the right trajectory, just keep it up. And it was soon after that that we were at home one night. <laughs> Luke came in and I had taken all of the pills, all of, all of the prescriptions, and he found me in the bathroom and I was flushing them. She said, Luke, I need to go and flush these pills because these pills represent so much shame and so much guilt in my life that I just need to see them leave. And it was at that moment that I was reminded of a story about an explorer who went to a foreign land. And when he arrived in the foreign land, he said to his men, hey, we're gonna go explore the horizon. We're gonna go explore the mountains. We're gonna go see what this land has for us. And uh, he realized at that point that none of his men wanted to follow him, that they just wanted to stay on the ships that they arrived in because it was com comfortable, because it was familiar. 
uh, not because it was good. And he waits a few more days later, and he, he says, I want all of my men on the shoreline. And, and once all of his men were accounted for on the shoreline, he gave his generals the command to burn the ships. Because he says, we will not go back, we will not retreat, but we will force ourselves to move into the future. And I think for, for so many people, it's difficult to move on from their pasts. And, you know, I, I, you know for those people, I, I say, hey, go and do whatever you can to go and uh, burn the ships. My life now is better than I would have ever imagined or dreamt up from the moment I was checked into um, outpatient therapy. My mind is not surrounded with anxiety and fear. I would have never thought I could have a life without anxiety attacks and a life of freedom. I used to feel like a victim of, of life, of when life would get hard. I didn't know really what to do. And I feel like my life now is when hard things come and, and pain happens. I know I'm gonna be okay. And I know that, that God is healer and that God can do anything and nothing's impossible for him. Amen and amen. God is our healer. And if you are struggling with anxiety and overwhelming fear and doom, something similar to what Courtney experienced, God wants you to know that he is able and willing and wants to take it away for you just as he did for Courtney. And if you're believing the lie, and this is a lie from the enemy, that you're alone in this, God wants you to know that you're not alone. You're not alone because so many other people are also experiencing those emotions and feelings. And then you're not alone because God is with you. He is with you in your darkest valley right now. He is right beside you, walking with you, holding your hand through this valley. And as I was watching that story, I'm reminded of the scripture that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors, friend. And if you're struggling with anxiety, I want you to pray with me right now. Father God, I lift up those who are watching, who are struggling with the spirit of fear and who are tormented with the spirit of fear. Lord, I pray for deliverance and I pray for a baptism of your love, God. I pray that they receive the truth of your love because perfect love casts out fear. I pray this in your holy name, amen and amen. If you prayed with me, give us a call at 1-800-700-7000. Let us know that you prayed with us and if you need more prayer. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.